And I will give you examples of that. But way at the beginning of us parents practicing DBT skills, we started to remember that we were good parents, that we were trying hard, and to accept the moment. And we started to learn that it was important to just keep trying more than having success each time. For all the work that we've done, I, I promise you, our daughter has worked three times as hard. She has come so far, and I'll give you an example just from this last week, and she functions really well. She had to have wisdom teeth extracted, and for a couple of weeks, she'd been quite fearful of that. She was afraid of the pain. She was afraid of the sounds. She just, you know. She was in the middle of it, and the sound got to her, and she felt, she thought she could feel pain. And so fear just got a hold of her. And she explained to me that she saw the moment she was just going to get up in the middle of the surgery and just leave. She couldn't take it anymore. So she remembered her skills, and she brought all her focus to the hand of the assistant who was holding her chin. And she was able to really completely focus on that so that the fear died down a little. But that's not enough, right? What she really had to do was face the fear. And she remembered that. So once she was able to calm herself down, then she faced the fear. And she allowed herself to hear the sounds and to realize that there was no pain. That's the kind of hard work I'm talking about. I'm not sure I could do it. But you know, that's what she practices. So this is the outcome of DBT skills for her three years later. She has a full-time job. She's nannying for five children. That family that she nannies for loves her dearly, pays her well. She just bought herself a new used car. She attends university full-time. She's probably going to go into social work. She has tried to live independently. It didn't work out. It was pretty disastrous. But the skills that she is missing for that, well, you know, she's learning them right now. And she really wants to be independent. So she'll try again. And my guess is next time it'll work out. We'll see. But, you know, not attached to the outcome here. There are some difficult moments. There are some borderline days still. Of course there are. But her life is beyond what we ever thought it could be just a few years ago. And the most important thing of all is, of course, we have hope. But she has hope for her life. And that's what is really, truly key. So I can say to you with absolute certainty that we wouldn't be here today without DBT as a family. She wouldn't, and we wouldn't. I can also say with similar certainty that most of the parents I have met through the classes that I have facilitated in the past few years would say the same. And this is my third point, that family support is absolutely imperative for relatives and for patients. In your handbook, you will see quite a few notes of thanks from parents who have taken the classes. And we could fill volumes with their words. But I will tell you a few right now. The change that I see between the start of the classes, the family support classes, and the end is absolutely extraordinary. So a mom from New York said to me, we are forever indebted to you for pulling us back from the brink. A dad from Utah, who now teaches his own classes, and I think he's here today, told me that one of his participants said, this class has become an absolute lifesaver for my sanity. I have been gaining so much knowledge, and I'm beginning to see through the eyes of a person with BPD. It is easy to keep on loving someone with BPD when you try to understand the way they are feeling. And he's so right. A couple from Maine said to me, you may recall that our daughter, a recent law school graduate, was in rehab and expecting a child. She and our grandson, who is a great source of delight for us, are now living with us. This never would have been possible without the skills and understanding that we acquired in the class. And, fa and finally, a very recent graduate from a class we just finished three weeks ago in Connecticut said to me, the program for me was life changing. I have been struggling with my daughter and our relationship for years. I have seen professionals that were helpful, but nothing came close to this program. Recently, my daughter became very upset, and I was, of course, the target. I managed to stay calm, listen to her, and validate the emotion I thought she was feeling. It worked, all capitals. 
we have a long way to go, but this was huge. So now they too have hope, and they're engaged in the work. A wonderful participant from the class in Connecticut that we just finished pointed out to me one day that DBT skills have helped her tremendously with her child, but that they really came in handy when she met with the principal of her child's school. <laughs> <laughs> DBT is a way of life. You know, once you start with DBT skills, you use them everywhere. Today we have over 500 families who are signed up on our NEA BPD waiting list, and anywhere from three to six more sign up every day. And every single one of their stories is absolutely heartbreaking. It is our next challenge to help them all. I hope my story and some of the thoughts from others that I've shared with you have shown you how DBT has impacted so many of us. The adaptation and dissemination of DBT to families is absolutely, absolutely invaluable. And we hope you will help us do that. Thank you. <laughs>